Hi, my name is Ryan Stanelson with Accelerate Marketing. Today, I want to talk to you about editing movies or videos on your iPhone. With the advent of iMovie and just the, the ease of use of that, of that particular app, it's, it's really, I mean, that, that app has really revolutionized or changed significantly the way that I edit my movie. So what I wanted to do is just talk a little bit about using iMovie specifically on your iPhone. Now, one of the problems, though, about using iMovie on your iPhone is that it's kind of small, and I've got kind of, I got kind of chubby fingers, so it's tough for me to kind of deal with the small screen and using iMovie on this small screen. So one of the things that I've done is I've, I've moved the movies that I have on my iPhone to my iPad. So when I, you know, I've got my movies on my iPhone, what I want to do though is I want to, I don't want to really edit, you know, if, if I go in here to this movie, you can see that, I mean, it, it, the screen is, you know, the screen is kind of small. It's kind of tough to edit that movie. So the, so that's the, the problem. And the problem is, is, you know, you're not going to get as good of an editing job, but if you do, use a bigger screen, you can get a much better, higher quality, more accurate editing job done on your video and produce a higher higher quality video that will potentially get more, more views, comments, likes, and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you, or give you a tip, or show you exactly how to transfer your movies from your iPhone to your iPad so that you can edit the movies that you shoot on your iPhone, which actually from my understanding, the, the, the reason why I actually shoot the videos on my iPhone 4 is because the camera on the back of this iPhone 4 supposedly is actually better than the camera on the back of the iPad 2 that I have. So one of the reasons why I definitely want to do that. So in order to do that, um, in order to make that happen, you need, what you need is, and I got to find the, <laughs> here it is. This is, this is the, the, this is what you need. This is a, it's an adapter and it's got a, a female in there, it's got a USB port on the back, and it's got the, the usual iPhone um, contraption on the top there. And what I've done is I've just, I've just plugged the iPhone in here to, um, to the cord that you use to normally charge the iPhone. And then I've got the USB connection here. You can see that I've got the, you know, I've basically got the, the iPhone here with, that's, that's attached to the what I usually use to charge the iPhone and then I'm just plugging this in right here to this and then let me just show you I'm gonna I'm gonna actually move the camera here a little bit so you can see a little bit better what's going on so basically what I'm gonna do is oops sorry is I'm going to take take this and that's connected to the iPhone and I'm going to plug it in the bottom of the iPad right there and then basically what I can do and what happens is is the iPad then can see all the pictures that I have on my iPhone so what I can do now is I can just select the ones that I want to import and you can see right here it's saying import all I don't know if you can see that here let me move this over so you can actually import all and there's some of the here's some of the videos that I want to so if I just select that I select all the the, the videos that I want to that I want to import over and then the videos and pictures that I want to import over and then basically I just go to I click the import and I go import all, import selected, or import all. So I go import selected, and then it's, it's actually working to import those videos right now. So, you know, I don't want to stop the import, but basically it's working to, to, to move those over. So hopefully, you know, you guys got a, a pretty good idea of, of what I'm, you know, what I, how to do that. I don't know if you can, if you can see me now, but anyway, it's a, it's a, that's a very, easy and effective way to make it much easier for you to edit your videos when you you need a little bit bigger screen so you can very easily move your your pictures and your videos over from your iPhone to your iPad and it and edit them instantly on a much bigger screen it makes it much e so it says import complete so I can keep them and then what I can do is 
I mean, I can now, the, all those, those videos are gonna show up in my photos. So they're, they're all actually on my iPad. So now I can import those into iMovie and I can edit them with a, with a much bigger screen. So hopefully that makes sense. Thanks and like, please like, comment, and do all the stuff you do on the, on the videos so, so that I can get some feedback. And then also, if, if you like this information, please, s s please text your name and email to 561-739-2283. Again, that's 561-739-2283. And you'll get notified whenever any new, whenever I create any, any new videos that will help you grow your business and get you found and, and get you um, more traffic to your website. So hopefully this is good. You find this information useful and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.